thing now. That's differentiating like a resistance grease or something in there. Turn this thing on. And it pulls two eggs. Can't differentiate. Put it on there, that ant meter. Two amps, positive, negative, going into this electromagnet, is it called? Yeah, this electromagnet. When the terminals come up. But anyway, this electromagnet This is out of what, Dad? Some fucking listen, I think. And this is yeah. the front diff. Rear diff. Rear diff, right. There's a hole of the electromagnet. Yeah, it ain't very big, is it? There's a lot of fucking... A lot of gear, a lot of efficiency. Look at the... Bob the spline with the sheared, uh, the single spline I welded. But anyway, that's what it consists of. Hey, okay. thousand comes in. Ball bearing goes between there. That's the sort of jigger. Get one of them a bit shorter, perhaps. Bigger. Well, this joint, what was, what was it called? What was it called GMC or? Yeah. On the internet, we've seen this. Yeah. What's it say there? CAO 1B. Fucking electromagnet, you could have drive on that back diff. Anyway, I'll just turn this thing off. You stop the video? Yeah. <laughs> See, what is this? This is a hundred mil from there, but so if that was cut off there, the spline was mounted on there, and that was bolted to the back, the back flange. Well, you could have this room put several bolts there and all this is get shortened up from there to there it is possible to only have this a little bit long that's a hundred mil from there to there hundred mil four inches but um what's inside here I don't fuck the guy know it could be a material that Electri electrical current An electrical current makes it go solid someone suggested but if you had one on a bigger diameter and a skinnier it would be good to drive a rear diff that unit but um, as I say that's you can shorten all this shit he reckons there's only 600 mil that's that three quarters of a 30 inches, 30 inches uh, to the back part, it differs, aren't it? But anyway, it's third for thought, isn't it? Alright, well, 